How does Chennai police address cases of land grab? I have with me Mr. Stalin, the Deputy Commissioner who deals with cases of land grab. Thank you so much for your time. Give us a brief data of land grab cases in Chennai. Sir. Actually, in the year 2020-22, we have registered 48 cases and this year so far we have registered 31 cases. In the, uh, in the year 2022, that is last year, we ensured 28 convictions and in this year so far we have ensured 10 convictions. What are the normal modus operandi in these land grab cases? Well, uh, there are broadly two categories. One is through impersonation and other is through forged documents. Impersonation means uh, uh, the land will be belonging to one person. Uh, at the time of registration, they will be bringing some other person with the same name. Yeah, with the same name, they will be producing those fellows. Maybe uh, that identity, like uh, Aadhaar card and all, uh, that will be in the uh, name of the same persons. But the address and other details, they will forgery, they will change the, those things. That is called the impersonation. And uh, forgery means uh, through uh, the property may be belonging to somebody else, they will be having the documents, but these fellows, uh, they will be forging as well as if the property belongs to them maybe some ancestral property or they would have purchased through some other agents or they will be having some power like that that fraudulently they will be create some documents and through forged documents they will sell and or transact to somebody else any general do's and don'ts for public when they buy a property if you are proposing to buy a property you first check the original parent documents that is a must thing if those are lost means you should be doubly careful uh, then you have to get the EC for minimum 25 years. Then if the registration is through power agents, then you should be again doubly cautious. Mm. Because uh, if you are going the registration through power agents means you should ensure the principal is alive. You should get his concurrence. If possible, you meet him and whether that power is given by him or still he is holding the power, that power is still valid, those uh, basic facts uh, you please check it. Then only you have to proceed. And through power agents also many fraudulent uh, deals take place, land grab? Definitely. Uh, the principal uh, would have given power to this uh, power agent mm -hmm. and subsequently he would have cancelled this uh, power. But uh, hiding this uh, cancellation, these power agents will be selling to uh, some innocent buyers. It is also there. And in some other cases, those two fellows will be in connivance, the principal as well as the uh, power agent. They will be conniving. Through this, power agent will be selling to one person, hiding those facts, the principal will be selling to some other person, the same land. So it's also there. Right. Generally, what's the profile of people who indulge in land grabs? Uh, that's actually, if the land is uh, held idle for so many years, the neighbors, uh, with the local local bad elements, they will be conniving and through forged documents, they will be trying to uh, grab these lads. Neighbors? Maybe. In majority of the cases, it is so. Neighbors, they will be, uh, uh, in some cases, they will be directly involving and in some cases, through other agents, they will be uh, grabbing. The moment one suspects that their land has been taken away or documents have been forged, what should one do? Public? Actually, two things are there. Uh, in civil aspect, uh, they have to approach the registration department. Uh, they have to submit their uh, uh, claim as if they are the owner and documents they have to produce. And uh, they will go for the cancellation of the fraudulent documents. That is one thing. Uh, now we can uh, cancel the registration department is uh, now enabled to cancel the fraudulent uh, documents. It's it possible, is it? Yes, yes. Now the uh, person government has amended and they have brought these uh, changes. It is there. And second thing is uh, the criminal activity. They can approach uh, us and they can uh, produce the document and uh, based on the relevant documents, we will uh, go for further action. Among the cases which have seen conviction, does it mean these people have got back the land? Uh, definitely. In majority of the cases, uh, the lands have been restored to the uh, lawful owners. Tell us about the cancellation of registration. So what is possible now? Uh, that is, in previous years, if the uh, uh, 
grabbers, land grabbers have uh, illegally grabbed the land through forged documents or through impersonation. Previously, the registration department, they will be making one entry. As such, uh, these uh, transactions mentioning the documents, uh, these are all illegal fraudulent uh, documents. And no further uh, transaction will be carried out based on this fraudulent document. That entry will reflect in their index register as well as the uh, their EC also that will be reflecting. Now they can very well cancel those uh, illegal transactions and uh, that will also be entered. People who own properties, it can be land, it can be flats, it can be houses. What are the precautions they should take uh, yeah, to make yeah. sure the land is safe? Uh, definitely. Uh, first of all, the original document, they should not give it to anybody else. That should be kept under their own custody. That should not be given to anybody else unnecessarily. That is one thing. And if the property is a vacant land, better to provide a compound wall and the CCTV cameras can also be inserted. At the same time, if it is a high net worth property, then definitely it is better to post guards and all. It's also there. Thank you so much for your time. That was Deputy Commissioner Mr. Stalin talking to us about the issue of land grab in Chennai, how the police is cracking down on these cases, and importantly, the do's and don'ts for people who own properties in the city. In Chennai, with Suresh, Sam Daniel, Findy TV.